Hi, this is Emily Lee, part of Art from the Heart, and in this video I'm sharing a paper smooches project for my Fall Squirrel Fest challenge. At the end of this video I'll also be announcing the winner of my birthday giveaway. This is my third installment in the Squirrel series, and after sharing the projects my husband and son made using squirrels, I thought it was high time I made a new squirrel card. This one is a trifold accordion card. For this card, I cut a piece of 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock down to 5 by 10.5 inches. And then I scored two lines at every 3.5 inches. Each section is 3.5 by 5 inches. Then I create an accordion by folding the two ends in opposite directions. I trim three white panels measuring three by four and a half inches. I'm going to blend green and blue distress inks to create a quick background for my scenes. I use shabby shutters and peeled paint for the grass, and tumbled glass and broken china for the sky. To build the scene, I'm using the clown and ball from Enjoy the Show, as well as the squirrel and acorn from Fanciful Fall. I'll be repeating the scene three times, once on each section of the trifold, so I have to stamp three clowns and three squirrels on their respective die cuts with the Memento Tuxedo Black dye ink. My scene involves the squirrel stealing the acorns from the clown and replacing them with balls, so I need multiple acorns to show the juggling action. The next step is to color in all the scene elements using Copic markers. I used light browns to color in the acorns. I did try stamping the acorns in brown ink, but it didn't look right with everything else being stamped in black, so I'm just shading them where I can, including those little dots at the top. We have both grey and black squirrels in Toronto. I prefer to colour in warm grey, so that's what I did here. Kim drew them with big bushy tails, which gives them the perfect amount of space for shading. Next I move on to the clowns. I'm only going to show you colouring on one of the clowns to save time. You've seen me colour this clown in other videos and he's a lot of fun to colour. I haven't talked about my colouring method in a while so I'll talk about it again here. You can see that I almost always use three shades of one colour to fill in an area. I always colour the entire area with the lightest shade of the three, add shadow with the medium colour and further shadow with the darkest. I use the most of the lightest shade and the least amount of the darkest shade. Then I go back with the lightest shade and blend all three shades together to make it seamless. Sometimes I do go back in and add more of the medium and dark colors if I didn't get it right the first time. I color in this method because that's the way I was taught when I took a class. Other people color with different methods, but this is the way I color and it works for me so I've stuck to it. After everything is colored, I adhere the white panels to the trifold base. Now 
Then I place all of the elements in their spots to gauge positioning. Originally, I hadn't thought about having the balls in the scene, but it didn't quite look right just to have the acorns in empty space. If I remade this card with just the acorns, I would change the expression on the clown's face to go from smiling to puzzled and finally sat. Now that would be really funny. I used Memento Lux Rich Cocoa Pigment Ink to stamp the balls on the background. I'm a huge fan of the Lux inks and they're still my favorite pigment inks. When the first panel is done, I adhere the clown with glue dots so I can use his position to line up the next two scenes. Next, I adhere the squirrel and acorns with foam tape. I make sure to stamp fewer balls in the second panel. It's not an exact amount, with one fewer than the previous panel, but rather a visual thing, so that it appears to have fewer balls than before. It's just easier than counting and being exact. After all, the squirrel is playing with them. I use my design ruler to make sure that the clown and squirrel are positioned at the same latitude across all three panels. I love this ruler and use it a lot. The final panel's my favorite because the squirrel looks so happy with his pile of acorns. I thought about leaving the card wordless, but in the end I decided it needed a sentiment, however short. I chose Hey Silly from Enjoy the Show and stamped it with Versafine Onyx Black Ink. Now my accordion trifold card is done. As it's opened, the recipient will see all three scenes and finally the sentiment. For the winner of my birthday giveaway, everyone had five chances to win. I used random org to choose which group I would choose from, and that was the YouTube comments. There were 69 individual comments, and I also used random org to choose the winner from that pool. The lucky winner is Susan Watanabe. Susan, please use the email address in the profile on my blog and contact me with your mailing address so I can mail you Kitschy Kitchen and Recipe for Success. Thanks so much to everyone who participated. I will have another giveaway in December. Don't forget to enter my current Squirrel Fest challenge for a chance to win two more Paper Smooches stamp sets. Please refer to the supply links below if you're interested in any of the products I used in this video. You can also visit my blog for stills and more information about my cards. Thanks so much for watching!